Question 15 reads, which of the following is equivalent to one half of 23% of 618? So let's translate this problem into a mathematical equation. So of, recall, means to multiply. So we want one half times 23%. And I'm purposefully keeping it with the percent sign rather than turning it into 0.23 because all of the answer choices have the percent sign of 618. So we need to know which of these answer choices agrees with what we've written here. Now, looking at A, we keep the 23%, but we've combined the 1 half times 618 into 309. That's fine, we can do that. Multiplication is commutative. We can move the 23 over here, combine the 618 and the 1 half and get 309. This is totally acceptable. We've just turned that multiplica multiplication sign back into an of. So A looks really good, but let's investigate the other options. Here's that same 23% of 309, but here we've divided it by two for no reason. The 309 comes from 1 half times 618. There's not an additional 1 half to uh, merit having this here. So that's out. Over here, we've taken 1 half times 23 and turned that into subtraction. That's not what of means. Of means multiplication. Here, we have the same problem we do in B. We got the 309 by 1 half times 618, but we have a second 1 half factor appearing. That's out. And then for E, we have what's written here, a 23 and a 1 half and a 618, but we've lost the percent sign now, so that doesn't make sense either. That's why A is the correct answer. And that's how you do it. Please continue to check out more MindFish videos.